I want to turn to another audience question. This is Lee Tischler from Florida. And Lee Tischler asks, should we be dining inside restaurants now? Should we wear masks in elevators now? Again, a very practical question for people who want to know how to live their lives in the next few months. Absolutely. What I'll say here is it depends. It depends on how much do you want to keep avoiding COVID-19. Now, I am not suggesting in this question that anyone should want to get COVID, and I'm not in any way trying to minimize the risk of COVID. There are some people who are still very um, susceptible to severe outcomes because of their age, because of their immunocompromise, and there are others who want to avoid COVID for a whole number of reasons. Perhaps they are about to get together with a um, with a family member who's in a nursing home. Perhaps they live with somebody who is immunocompromised. Perhaps they um, are afraid of the possibility of long COVID and really do not want to get COVID for that reason. Whatever the reason is, if your goal is to avoid COVID and that's really important to you, then I would suggest masking. And I'll talk about the, time, the kind of mask as well, but I would suggest masking in crowded indoor settings. Masking is not all or nothing. It's not as if Either we are in the throes of the worst of the pandemic and are putting on the mask at all times, or we don't wear it at all. I think a lot of people have that concept, but actually think about risk as being cumulative. And so perhaps you decide that you want to avoid COVID, but that you still want to get together and socialize and dine indoors and other things. You could do that. You could choose to dine indoors, for example, in restaurants that are well ventilated, where people are not sitting shoulder to shoulder with, with, with each other. You can choose to dine with other companions who are similar cautious about COVID. And then you could mask in other crowded settings, including, as you mentioned, in elevators. I myself, when I'm at airports and there are people really packed together in a small space, for example, when we're boarding and you know that you're in an unventilated jet bridge, I would wear a mask in those settings. But I probably will not be wearing a mask in associating with my colleagues and in other settings where I think looking at facial expressions and such is more important. That's the way that I'm choosing um, to think about risk in my life. But again, if I'm someone who is more immunocompromised, if I'm, um, if I also really prioritized um, 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 uh, not getting COVID, then I think masking in more rather than less um, indoor um, settings would be advisable. And as to the type of mask, make sure to wear an N95, KN95, or KF94 mask. Make sure that it's well-fitting and that you can wear it consistently in the situations that, that you need to. Um, at this point, and I've been saying this for the last year or so, a cloth mask is little more than a facial decoration. If your goal is to keep out COVID, the cloth mask is not doing very much at all. The surgical mask is better than the cloth mask, but still, if you're going to wear a mask at all, unless you cannot tolerate an N95 or equivalent mask, I would not wear a surgical mask and definitely not a cloth mask. 